DCA and Avamar, a theoretical protocol for cancer. Avamar is a fermented wheat germ product. It's approved by the FDA. It's generally recognized as safe. And the active ingredients are 2,6-dimethylbenzoquinone and 2-methylbenzoquinone. DCA is a small, simple chemical similar to vinegar. It's been used for years in a rare condition known as congenital lactic acidosis. It's demonstrated action against a wide variety of cancers in mice in 2007 with a limited follow-up study in humans in 2010. The reason for the limited follow-up is that DCA is not patentable, so there's limited interest from big pharma. Why Avamar and DCA? Cancer cells revert to an older, less efficient method of metabolism. In so doing, they employ various methods to prevent their own destruction. Avamar shuts down the energy pathways cancers draw energy from. Avamar prevents cancer cells from invading the immune system. DCA activates the more efficient aerobic, or with oxygen, metabolism, returning the cell to normal functioning. Normal functioning in this case means the cell will detect it is in an unhealthy state and undergo apoptopsis, which is cellular suicide. We're going to be seeing a lot of biology pathway diagrams, so let's just have a little word on how these work. In the top example, we see A pointing to B. That means A promotes B. In the second example, we see A with sort of a blunted arrow pointing at B, and that means that A inhibits B. And in the third example, we have A going to B, uh, which is catalyzed or enhanced or helped with C, catalyst C. What are the mitochondria? Healthy cells use mitochondria to produce energy. Mitochondria are organelles, small cellular components with specific functions. Mitochondria require oxygen to function. They're hugely more efficient than the anaerobic, or without oxygen, glycolysis. They've long been thought to be damaged beyond repair in the case of cancerous cells. Recent research in 2007 involving DCA reveals that the mitochondria were only dormant and could be revived. The mitochondria, not the nucleus, controls apoptopsis, that cellular suicide, in cancerous or injured states. Examining cellular metabolism. This diagram can be rather intimidating, but don't let it be. We're going to break it down piece by piece and follow it all the way through. First, we're going to look at glycolysis. Remember, it doesn't require oxygen, and it produces two units of energy. For biology students, that's called ATP. Those are the cellular batteries, but it's just two units. Now let's examine aerobic respiration in the mitochondria. It's also known as the citric acid cycle. Now remember, aerobic means it needs oxygen. This cycle produces 36 to 38 energy units, also known as ATP. It's 19 times more efficient than glycolysis. It's almost analogous to a cellular afterburner, largely, largely more efficient. In cancer cells, aerobic respiration is derailed. Now, respiration to most people would mean breathing. It's important to realize that in biology, respiration means the consumption of foodstuffs to produce energy. It has a slightly different meaning. Um, we'll be looking at that encircled area in the center to see how it's derailed in cancer cells. Mike, MYC, is an oncoprotein. That's a cancer-promoting protein. It stimulates the enzyme PDK. PDK, in turn, antagonizes... That inhibits or slows down PDH. With PDH inhibited, the reaction of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA cannot proceed. Aerobic metabolism is derailed. DCA restores mitochondrial function. DCA antagonizes or stops PDK. With PDK out of the picture, PDH is free to catalyze, which is to promote or help, the pyruvate to acetyl-CoA reaction, restoring the citric acid cycle. The mitochondria is now up and running. The mitochondria can now affect apoptopsis. 
Here we have a diagram of the mitochondria releasing several agents that contribute to apoptosis. So why isn't DCA the end of the story? Why isn't DCA the cure just in and of itself? Well, the core of the tumor is extremely anoxic. That's without oxygen. And remember that the mitochondria require them. So by analogy, the mitochondria have the keys in the ignition, but no fuel to work with. Cancer cells also consume huge amounts of sugar, starving the mitochondria. DCA does nothing to help the immune system recognize cancerous cells. So, for that, we're going to turn to Avamar. Before we get into Avamar, how and why do tumors consume so much sugar? Tumors are constantly multiplying, requiring the construction of DNA. DNA is largely sugar. Also, since anaerobic respiration is considerably less efficient, the cancer cell must compensate by overdriving glycolysis and a glycolysis alternative called the pentose phosphate shunt. By analogy, a car with a less efficient engine must consume far more gasoline to function. Let's look at the pentose phosphate shunt. The pentose phosphate shunt is used to build DNA in healthy cells. It produces some energy as well. In cancer cells, it's rapidly accelerated. In the diagram, you can see how it would siphon off sugars before they could get near the citric acid cycle. Thus, even with DCA restoring the mitochondria, it still might be starved. Avamar selectively inhibits G6P dehydrogenase and transketolase, which are key to the pathway. By selective, we mean that it would take 50 times the prescribed dose to inhibit the pathway in normal cells. With the pathway now resp restored to normal balance, no longer in overdrive, sugars can reach the citric acid cycle in the mitochondria. Modulating glucose uptake prevents cachexia. It's actually a condition called cachexia, which typically proves fatal in cancer. Cancer cells produce a large amount of lactic acid as a result of glycolysis. Lactic acid is the same acid that causes your muscles to burn after a hard workout. The liver converts this lactic acid, regrettably, back to sugar. Avamar prevents cancer cells from building enough DNA to multiply as quickly as they need. Sugar consumption is thus reduced and the vicious cycle is broken. Here's a diagram of how cachexia operates. PARP inhibition. PARP is an enzyme which repairs DNA. Cancer cells duplicate repeatedly, which can introduce copy errors into the DNA. Without PARP to repair those errors, the DNA becomes fragmented and unreadable, leading to cell death. Avamar has been shown to selectively disable PARP in cancer cells. Again, selectively means that PARP is not inhibited in healthy cells. This diagram shows how PARP works. Avamar also has immunological functions. Cancer cells display a signal called MHC1, which is a deceptive I'm healthy signal. Cells which are actually healthy also display the signal. Cells which fail to display MHC1 on their surface are consumed by the immune system's NK, or natural killer cells. With the downregulation or prevention of MHC1 expression display on the cell surface, the natural killer cells can target the cancer cells. This unmasks cancer cells to the immune system. This also prevents metastasis. ICAM, angiogenesis, and Avamar. In order for a tumor to feed itself, it needs to stimulate the creation of supplying blood vessels. In cancer, this process is called angiogenesis. Blood cells have a lining called an endothelium. Normal blood cells have components in their lining called ICAM, which facilitates immune cells leaving the blood and entering the tissue. Cancer blood vessels are almost entirely devoid of ICAM. Avamar promotes the expression, display on the lining, of ICAM that can help the immune cells enter the tissue and destroy it. 
This diagram explains how Avamar and ICAM help immune cells enter the tumor. Avamar is already FDA approved. It's also already accepted as an adjunct therapy to chemotherapy. Side effects are mild and infrequent and can be read here. And for more information, follow the link. DC has been used successfully in humans for a rare disease called congenital lactic acidosis. DCA can be prescribed off-label by your physician. Here's a list of some of the side effects. Note, the side effects are typically rare and dose-dependent, and they're orders of magnitude less severe than standard chemotherapy. Consult your physician for more details. For more information, follow the link displayed here. Here's how to get Avamar. Please don't self-medicate. Consult your physician or oncologist. DCA can be obtained from a compounding pharmacy, but must be prescribed by a qualified physician. Medical or Cancer Centers located in Toronto, Canada, treats patients internationally. If you'd like to speak with them, follow the link. Again, please do not self-medicate. Consult your physician or oncologist. The next several slides has information for anyone interested in some further reading or research. If you're interested in filling out a petition to petition governments to support DCA and to help in its funding, please visit the link at the end of this presentation. Wishing you all the best of health. This is Martin C. Weiner.